all his plantain crops are gone. While staring at his flattened field, Luis Pinto, known in the neighborhood as Piña, assesses his losses. I had 14,000 plantain plants, and I lost them all, big and small. I also had 58 heads of cattle, and there are 18 that I can't find. They must have drowned when the river overflowed. He is a farmer in Yabucoa, a municipality on the southeast coast of Puerto Rico that took a direct hit from Hurricane Maria. The fury of 250 kilometer per hour winds clear cut all growth. Visually, it looks like the aftermath of a nuclear bomb. I lost around $300,000. I asked Pina about his insurance. I could only insure 6,000 plants because the others were too small. I planted them in May. Those I lost. And of those 6,000 insured plants, they will give me back about $12,000. Jose David Diaz was apprehensive about talking to us. He is a convicted felon who decided to turn his life around and became a farmer eight years ago. The hurricane was a disaster for this town. I lost 4,000 plantain plants. What was left of Puerto Rico's agriculture has been decimated. Hurricane Irma took a quarter of the crops in early September. Maria did the rest. Now 80 percent is gone. Plantain is a staple in the island's diet. Its price will surely rise. Some here predict it may triple. Locals will have to pay up or rely on imports. Both Jose and Piña stood their ground during the storm. The wind did not blow them away. Now they say they will just adjust their sales. Now it's time to go hands-on, plant again, get the seeds in the ground and move forward. We have to work. I have a family to support. Pina is betting on these young plantain suckers that Maria spared, hoping to coax them into mature plants. Meanwhile, he went to look for the lost cattle. No time to waste. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Yabucoa, Puerto Rico.